You can look at the life of Samson. And you see such wasted potential. Do you realize that if Samson had done what he was born to do, if he had taken the charge of an army of Israelites, he could have defeated the Philistines. There was no army that could have stood against him. And he could have secured the borders of Israel probably for decades to come. But he wasted his time. He wasted his energy. He wasted his effort. He wasted his sexuality. He wasted his relationships. It is a study in how not to live your life. Man, he had so many talents, just like some of you are talented people. But he wasted it. Wasted it. You can look at the life of Samson and you almost wonder if he was even saved. Because he had all of this potential and all of these possibilities and he really did not feel very, fulfill very much of it at all. But if you go over to the New Testament in Hebrews 11, there is a chapter that talks about the faithful men of God. And you read about Abraham, and you read about Moses, and you read about Noah, and you read about all these mighty men of God. And in verse 32, it says Samson was a great man of faith. And you think, how could that be? His life was basically a failure. Well, I want to tell you what I think happened to Samson, and this is when it happened. When he was blind physically, when he spent months living in a dungeon, he spent his days doing the work of an ox and his nights alone in darkness by himself in chains of bondage. There was nowhere to him, for him to turn but to God. And somewhere in his darkness, somewhere in his captivity, he reached out to God. And this is what he found. He found that God still cared for him. Even in all the time he had wasted, and all the potential that he had wasted, he understood once again that God cared for him. And I want to tell you, I don't know what's going on in your life right now. You might be in a dark place. Not as dark as Samson, but you might be in a dark place. God still cares for you. God cares for you. And the second thing Samson understood is that God would hear his prayer. And I don't care what you've done. I don't care where you are. God will hear your prayer. And the third thing that Samson understood was that God would forgive his sin. All the things he had done, all the sin in his life, all the people he had disappointed, you would think, God can't forgive that. But yes, he can. And you need to understand also, wherever you are in your life, you might even be at a place right now where you are in a dungeon, you are in a dark place, you feel chained by your sin. I don't even know how I can get out of this. God will forgive your sin. It does not mean you may not have to pay for your consequences. You see, Samson had to pay. And Samson paid with his freedom and then he paid with his life. But if I read Hebrews 11 correctly, Samson's in heaven. And it gives me hope. And it should give you hope. Because whether you achieve your potential or not, whether you just blow it like Samson did, even if you find yourself in the chains of addiction, even if you find yourself in the dungeons of darkness with no family and no friends anywhere, God still cares, He still hears, and He will forgive your sin. And however bad you mess up this life, you can still have an eternity with Him in heaven.